Hey, do you sometimes feel like you're just running around, getting things done, ticking boxes, being productive, but not experiencing anything fully? Not really finding the time to smell the roses? Or maybe you even catch your mind wandering all over the place while in a conversation with someone else or reading a book or doing certain tasks. Sounds familiar? Well, if so, then you're definitely not alone. Being present and mindful is a big challenge in our modern lifestyle. So I decided to record this video where I will share with you my three favorite methods or techniques that will help you improve your mindfulness and the ability to be more present. Hey, this is Thomas from okaysnowenough.com, helping you become the best version of yourself and create a more exciting and more fulfilling life. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'm giving you right now the very opportunity to do so by pressing that little subscribe button somewhere around there. And if you do that, good things will come to you. So let's talk about mindfulness and the art of being present. If you are a bit of an achiever or an ambitious person, you probably pride yourself and get a kick out of being productive, multitasking, and just getting things done. I definitely do. We live in a super fast world full of technology where the information overload is pretty much a default of how we feel. Because of that and many other factors, most of us really suck at being present and mindful. And then we just end up living rather than experiencing life fully. So I want to share with you my three favorite methods or techniques that are super simple yet fun and will help you bring your focus and mind to the present moment and really savor it. So the first method, I call it the childlike mindfulness method. And it's really one of my favorite ones in terms of bringing childlike um, curiosity and sense of wonder into my tasks and activities. The key thing to this method is to imagine that you've never done the activity before, you've never experienced that thing before. So for example, if you're eating something or if you're about to eat something, imagine that you've never had it before, you a child that never tried it before. And what will happen, you'll probably approach it with a sense of curiosity and maybe even hesitation. And what will happen is that you will pay so much more attention to the tastes of the food, to the texture, and to the smell as well. Because, let me ask you this, when was the last time you truly paid attention to when you were eating your lunch? Many people just devour what's on the plate like a hungry dog, especially if it's a lunch on a working day. I wonder if that sounds familiar. Ever done that? The second technique that will help you be more mindful is to imagine that you'll be telling someone about the experience or the activity that you want to be more mindful about. And they want to know every single detail. I call it tell me everything mindfulness method. So next time when you listen to music, you somewhere in nature, or you have a conversation with someone, you're eating something, Imagine that you have a really close friend who cannot have that experience for some reason. Maybe they can't hear, maybe they can't see, maybe they lost the sense of taste or they can never meet that person you are having conversation with. And they asked you as their closest friend if you could tell them everything about it, every single detail about the experience. Now, in order to do that, to be able to tell them about it or report to them in really rich detail, you would have to pay a lot of attention to everything. And if you do that in any activity, trust me that it will help you be so much more present and so much more mindful. And the third technique, I call it the last time mindfulness method. And I find this one really the most powerful out of the three. And this method is super simple. Whatever activity or moment you would want to be super present and mindful about, just imagine it's the last time in your life 
you are experiencing it. I'm sure you can think of a few experiences in your life when you knew it was going to be for the last time. And in moments like these, it's almost like we just want to open our senses and taking as much as possible of that experience. It's amazing how when we know or even just imagine that something is for the last time that we will never experience it again, how we want to experience it uh, fully as much as possible. Even things that are not special in any way or that we take for granted or even things that we actually don't quite like or don't quite enjoy. Just knowing that it's the last time, uh, we almost want to savor it. So that method I find particularly powerful and I really encourage you to try it. But try all of these, see which one works for you the best. I'm pretty sure all of them will help you deepen your experiences and help you be more present and mindful. So that's it for today, short and sweet. I wanted to keep it straight to the point. If you have some mindfulness methods or techniques that you've been using, hey, share it in a comment with me and with other people who came to watch this video and could do with deepening their uh, mindfulness and uh, the art of being present. I'm sure it will be appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed, press the little button you will get notifications about my upcoming videos. I'm releasing new videos every week that will help you be the best version of yourself. As always, thank you for your attention. Really appreciate that. And I'll see you on the next video.